Arrhenius concept of assets and bases. In the previous videos of assets and bases, we got acquainted with the general qualities of each of them and their multiple applications in our lives. Thus, due to the importance of assets and bases, scientists have been interested in studying them. So several definitions have appeared explain their chemical behaviors. These concepts have evolved down to the present day. But the most important concepts that define the assets and the bases chemical behaviors are the concept of Arrhenius, the concept of Bronsted Lowry, and the concept of Lewis. Let's first get acquainted with Arrhenius concept of acid and base. Arrhenius defined acid as a substance that produces a hydrogen ion when dissolved in water. Thus, Arrhenius definition stipulates that the acid must contain an ionizable hydrogen atom in its structure and it should be dissolved in water. For example, hydrochloric acid, when dissolved in water, as we can see, it will ionize and produce hydrogen ions. So, according to the definition of Arrhenius, HCl is considered an acid. Arrhenius defined the base as a substance that produces a hydroxide ion when dissolved in water. Thus, the definition of Arrhenius stipulates that the base should contain an ionizable hydroxide group in its structure and be dissolved in water. For example, sodium hydroxide NaOH when dissolved in water, as we see, it will ionize and produce hydroxide ions. So, according to the definition of Arrhenius, NaOH is considered a base. According to the definition of Arrhenius, acid is a substance that produces a hydrogen ion when dissolved in water. While a base is a substance that produces a hydroxide ion when dissolved in water. Let us consider together the ionization equations of some acids according to the definition of Arrhenius. Strong acid, for example, hydrochloric acid, as we can see, contains hydrogen atom in its composition. So when dissolved in water, it will completely ionize to positive hydrogen ions and negative chloride ions because it's a strong acid. As we see, we put the water formula above the arrow. This is because water does not interact, but is only a medium in which the acid or base dissolved according to the concept of Arrhenius. Another example is perchloric acid, which will be completely ionized, as we can see, because it's also considered a strong acid. While weak acids, as we know, will partially ionize, such as hydrogen cyanide, and formic acid. So we put two opposite errors when writing the weak acid ionization equation.
As we can see, formic acid is one of the carboxylic acids, which are based on the RCOOH formula, which are weak acids. In the carboxylic acids, the hydrogen atom that will be ionized is at the end of the compound, and the rest of the compound will form the negative ion. And now, let's consider the ionization equations of the bases. According to the definition of Arrhenius, bases are compounds that having at least one hydroxide ion in its formula, such as sodium hydroxide. As we can see, it contains a hydroxide group in its composition. Therefore, when dissolved in water, it will completely ionize to positive sodium ion and negative hydroxide ion as it considered one of the strong bases. Let's consider the ionization equations of some common examples of Arrhenius bases such as potassium hydroxide and lithium hydroxide which are also strong bases. Despite the success of Arrhenius in explaining the chemical behavior of some acids and bases, however, he was unable to explain the basic behavior of some substances that do not contain a hydroxide ion in their composition, such as ammonia and acetate. He was also unable to explain the acid and base properties of solutions of some salts such as ammonium chloride and sodium nitrate. The definition was limited to compounds in the field of their aqueous solution. For example, HCl gas is not an acid if it's not dissolved in water and sodium hydroxide is not a base if it's not dissolved in water. These points urge scientists to search for another concept of acids and bases more comprehensive than the concept of Arrhenius. So the chemists Brosted and Lowry came up with a concept for both acids and bases that's more comprehensive than the concept of Arrhenius. And we will get to know it in the second part, so be with us. Big thanks for watching. At the end, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive my new videos.